Nice, Mav. Coming in with the first. All right. Get the light out of the way. All right. That's good enough. Don't think... I yeah, I'm not muted. Cool. It's all the time. Don't forget to redeem your, your channel point for first. So that it'll count you. got more highlights and I think it's the last stream I did her eyes been fussing over her nose like all day so I think I think I'm gonna just leave the nose for a little while like it's better than when I started so I'm gonna like just let it sit hello sense of cute So the next thing I want to tackle is her hair and she's got iconic red hair, best. You know what really sucks though? There's like a tiny little triangle right here, oh hold on, tiny little triangle right here that's part of the background that I missed. Love that for me. I, I really like doing the shadows from her glasses. Like, it's such a fun optical illusion thing to learn how to paint. And I'm really excited for when it's time to put this little highlight for her, her glasses. Like, Painting glasses on somebody just it adds a whole other level to it. The depth had to be fun. Try oh yeah, for sure. Cause like the shadow, she's got like these kind of like chunky black plastic glasses. Art is amazing. So like there's definitely a real like full shape. Checking into the stream. You got 13 check-ins so far. Nice. Okay. Um, so I have a ton of flesh tones mixed up because I was putting highlights in. Um, I still need to do more highlights around her lips, but I feel like I need to wait to finish those when I actually paint her lips. So I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, but I did figure out like the colors. I kind of cheated a little bit. I um, I went on my tablet and I like used the little eyedropper tool in uh, Adobe and I, I grabbed all of the flesh tones and I was like, look, I'm struggling with the colors for the highlights. So let me just get a little digital help and actually see what these color swatches look like by themselves. Little, little tip trick of mine. Go into Adobe and make the computer isolate or the software, isolate the colors. Little cheat code that I use. All right, so her hair, it's, it's a very iconic rusty orange color. Wouldn't say it's cheating. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not cheating, strictly speaking, but like, it's a tool. I mean, if we want to start distinguishing what's cheating and what's not in terms of my art process, we might get on a slippery slope because I lean on digital tools quite a bit. For, for a traditional painter, I lean on traditional tools a lot. All right, so her hair. Here, definitely got this red ochre going on, and a hefty helping of Indian red for sure. 
You know, I think I might even put some gold in her hair. Which is one of the things I don't have on my palette because it's an exceedingly expensive tube of paint. Adapting for sure. It was smart. Kept you from, from getting stuck. Say it was move for sure. I mean, every, every generation of artists has their own adaptation. Like, um, what, what was the, the, the guy's name? The guy that painted the, the, the Dutch girl pouring the milk into the bowl in like a, 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 a Dutch kitchen or whatever. A really old painting. I can't remember the dude's name. It's, I'm shitty at remembering that information. But that guy, he painted like paintings a little bit bigger than this maybe. And they were like crazy, crazy detailed. And nobody could ever figure out how he did it. And then somebody did figure it out. And it's that he uses a mirror magnifying glass setup thing to project onto a surface. And then he paints that surface with a projection and a grid. So if somebody that's that traditional and that respected can do something like that, then I don't mind using my tablet and Adobe software to create my sketch and all the shortcuts that that provides and then transferring a sketch onto a painting surface. Now one little bit. I, I'm rock solid. I'm good. People can come for me if they want. I'm gonna fix this little background triangle real quick before I get real focused. Hiya. Is it like hiya or is it like hiya? You know, like like Link. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. Not the karate, not the karate chop. No. All right, I'll I'll take the friendliness. I'll take it. Definitely like a muddy color back there. Reddish colors. need to be super exact but it definitely needs to be enough hanging out with me too long with you yeah i think it's a karate chop i mean hanging out with you is my bliss other than painting hang out with you every day all day really hard to be happy right now not the best time try your best to keep it happy isn't hanging out with Sanzo kind of a requirement as a married people's <laughs> ups and downs come and go they sure do um every everything ends everything passes good and bad um and that's the only thing you can really hold on to and, and it, for consistency in this life is that nothing lasts, whether it's good or bad. Even, even if something good ends, at least you have the comfort that if something bad is next, it always ends. No, literally, it's, it's one thing that I can promise. A lot of bad things will happen in a row, but it always passes. And it's one promise that I can make that I, I, I don't have any problem being like, oh, you can't make promises to people. That's a promise. I 
And that's not toxic positivity, toxic positivity or anything like that. Like I totally feel for you. You're in thick. just some crap right now, and my heart's with you. Oh yeah, I have emotes. I sure do. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, grief is grief and loss. Those are for sure hard, but over time, it turns into a scar instead of a wound. And sometimes it takes a long time. And I, I appreciate you not um, going all out in the chat just so that nobody has, you know, any triggers or anything. Well, we're, we're here for you. We're, we're glad you're here. <laughs> Look at Mav coming out, being the MVP for the chat, being the ear. Everybody has their way. Everybody has their way. Um, the painting, she is um she's a side character from the second Ghostbusters movie. for when you write and sing some. I don't think we've ever talked about you writing and singing. That's cool. I, I, I added a uh, maestros section to Discord for anybody that did want to share any creative musical inclination. Yep, she's the, she's the receptionist for the Ghostbusters. Her name's Janine. <laughs> we love Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is one of my favorite movies. Not gonna lie. I, fuck, I, I fucking love Ghostbusters. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's, let's do Janine's iconic red hair. Like the new one too, where it's the kids. Didn't really watch it though. Good. Seen the saga so many times. <laughs> and watched the animated series. Ginger sister. I don't know if she's a true ginger though, because in the first movie she's a brunette. And even even here, her eyebrows are still brown. So I think she might be just trying on being a ginger. Although in the newest movie that she was in. She was a ginger in both of them, in the the Lady Ghostbusters and the um, and the one with the kids. She came back with red hair, so I think I think her hair was red.
Well, yeah, I mean, gender does express differently. You know, sometimes blonde eyebrows, sometimes brown and everything in between. Oh, wait, I already, I already grabbed some of these. I got sidetracked. Okay. Oops. Vibrancy. Chin hair is red. <laughs> yep, you do grow some some red 